What's going on guys, Razorkill Ben here with some actual gaming footage of the City Skyline project. So it's a bit of a weird one for me because this is my first time I've ever provided commentary to a video in the edit rather than at the time of the recording so bear with me if I ramble on. I'll try to add value to the commentary and only talk about anything relevant at the time. The way this works is it's a speed build. The footage you'll be seeing will be sped up pretty quickly so you can see the city develop over a period of time. If I did it full speed, honestly, we'd be talking months and months worth of episodes and it would just be incredibly boring. So I thought this would probably be the best way of doing it. If it is a bit too quick though, do let me know in the comments and I'll slow it down. But for now, this is Aberdeen, Scotland, United Kingdom. And if you don't know much about it, check out the first video, which I'll provide a link to in the description. Like I said, if you're from the local area, please let me know either below or on Twitter on what works and what doesn't, and I'll try to incorporate some suggestions and ideas into the next videos and episodes. And if you're a keen city skyliner, I'll also leave a link to the mod list I used below, but that might be a while until I incorporate that, just because I'm just a lazy kind of guy. Yeah. Finally, massive shout out for the love received for this project already. I really do hope I do it some justice and shed Aberdeen in a positive light with the investment going on in the city. I do love living in this wonderful place and I hope that this portrays that. And if you do like it, please do share it around on Facebook, Twitter or anywhere to be honest and leave a like and subscribe to the channel because it lets me know you guys actually want more of this kind of thing and it's nice to know if it's looking good. Other than that, sit back and enjoy. So it's always hard to kind of work out where to start these projects, but I decided to start with Union Street. So Union Street's pretty much the heart of Aberdeen city centre, uh, and it's got Castle Gate at the top. Whoa! What did I just say? Yep, sorry, I didn't mean to start a local debate again. But with Castle Gate at one end of Union Street, it's almost the focal point for the city centre and most of the things that you want like restaurants, bars, nightlife uh, and shopping is pretty much all situated and surrounded by Union Street. One of the most challenging things about Union Street is that it's actually a great big mile long bridge. Uh, you don't realise when you're standing on it because it's so level but it is actually completely raised off the ground. I couldn't really replicate that in game without losing the ability to build things alongside the street so I kind of had to make it level and just kind of work around it which as you'll see later on I end up doing. So I was keen to get people moving into the city and stop buildings burning down and to make crime rates disappear. So I built this kind of square behind as you saw me doing just there uh, to try and house those kind of facilities and services including schools and that kind of thing. I ended up actually finding a mod which allowed me to just turn all of those problems off uh, so I ended up getting rid of it. So you can just ignore that for now. So as you can see I ended up using a lot of Google Maps and a mod that allows you to overlay a map over the top of the game which I ended up using a height map for Aberdeen which is pretty cool because it shows you some of where the main roads are just to try and keep things in proportion a little bit more. One of the other big challenges of City Skylines is obviously there isn't a perfect building like an exact replica of Marshall College or some of the big landmarks so I kind of had to just kind of go along with anything that kind of fits or looks the closest. Uh, you will see that I do have a lot of custom assets, uh, a lot of UK, British, uh, Scottish, 
themed housing uh, and there are a lot of um, Scottish style housing that I did manage to find so you kind of have to use your imagination a little bit. It does kind of look pretty good and with the road structures and everything that I have put in place when I did a little drive through which you'll see at the end as you get to Market Street in the corner it looks really familiar and you know where you are so as long as it's doing that I'm kind of happy with how it's coming out. So sadly, when I was designing the map, um, there was a slight glitch in the fact that when I try and place the harbour, uh, it can't actually find the sea, which is strange because it's right there. Um, so I couldn't really place a harbour down. The harbour in the game that the stock game gives you is pretty small anyway, so I decided to build my own harbour, which you can see here. I ended up placing down a ton of industrial and putting down some wall, uh, sort of like river wall or, or sort of harbour walls down. Uh, which you can see me doing there, and it looked really good, and it ended up looking far more realistic as to what it actually looks like. I found these great custom uh, ships as well that look exactly like some of the ships that end up in the harbour, um, and a lot of container ships and container UK industrial buildings, that kind of thing, all around the area, and it ended up coming out really good. So I was really pleased in a way that I ended up doing that rather than just using the standard harbour that comes with the game. One of the real tricky things to do in the game was Union Square, believe it or not. The shopping centres they give you in the game are pretty small, so again I kind of had to build a big custom car park. And the other big challenging factor is that the train station, of course, sits within Union Square. It's really hard to put that in because obviously the two objects are going to overlap, so I kind of had to do a best effort kind of thing and just make it look as good as I possibly could. The other thing to note here is around Guild Street kind of way and into Denburn Road, there is no way of making tunnels or sunken roads in the game. I mean, you can have an underground tunnel that you won't see, 
but obviously I needed to have a bit of a sunken road. So I found a really good mod that once again allowed me to break the game in a way that it shouldn't really do. Unfortunately I wasn't able to then place anything on the bridge of Union Street. So this took me a while to kind of work out what I was going to do and eventually I ended up putting Trinity Centre just slightly off to the left. If you do a drive through from Denburn Road and end up looking up at Union Street though, you can see the shopping centre there and it doesn't look too out of place. So there's the start of Union Square. Now this does improve later on in the game, but this is just a placeholder for now. I end up putting a lot of the retail stores that are around the edges there as well. But for now I just wanted to get the car park and the big concrete exterior down and in the game so I knew where it was roughly going to be. As you can see, to achieve the effect I had to use various different bits of shopping mall and position them around to make it look more like it. But I think overall when you go down Market Street it really does look good. Anyway guys, that's it for this episode. Here's just a quick little run through of what we've done so far. Please do bear in mind that a lot of this is subject to change. So what you see right now isn't necessarily what you're going to see in the final product. Please do remember to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and to subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out and lets me know that you guys are happy with what you see. If you do live locally and you know the area well and you want to give me some ideas on what works and what doesn't work, then please do feel free to put it in the comments and I promise you I will include you in the next video if it's a good one. Hopefully we'll have some more of my updates just after Christmas, but if I don't speak to you guys, have a great one and I will see you in the new year.